Today is Good Friday, a strange title for a tragic day. And the collect or prayer for the day reflects the somber tone of what happened. Almighty God, we beseech you graciously to behold this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed and given into the hands of sinners and to suffer death upon the cross, who now lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In this prayer, we strip away all the hows and the whens and the wheres of the crucifixion, all valid questions, and get down to the bedrock of why. Why does Jesus do this? There are all kinds of reasons tucked into this prayer. He did it because it was the will of the entire Trinity, Father, Son, and Spirit, the prayer says. The closing of the prayer makes it clear that it is the one God in three persons who determines this plan and who brings it to fulfillment. The cross was not divine child abuse or a kind son placating an angry father. This was all their purpose, all their plan, all along. He also did it because we needed to be reunited, reunified with God and one another. There's something so intimate about that first line. Graciously behold this your family. There is an intimacy between us and God, a depth of relationship between us and one another that was broken by sin, where we truly did not behold one another and could not say that we treated one another as family. And the cross restores those relationships, both vertical and horizontal. As Jesus was broken, everything that is wrong was healed. But these whys are are simply glimpses of the deepest motivation. The Father, the Son, and the Spirit did this because of us. Did this for us. For whom? Jesus died for us. We can sometimes get into the habit of talking about the cross as if it were a logical knot. Right? God is holy. God is love. How can he be both in the midst of our sin? The cross is the only way out, etc. But this was no math problem for God. This was no riddle that he had to solve. This was his headlong pursuit into our pit so that we might be rescued. A reckless plunge into our brokenness so that we might be made whole. Just because he loved us. He did this. What we commemorate this Friday happened for our sake, for your sake. And that is the reason we call it good. <laughs>